Hello everyone, it's Steamboy27. Is is anyone else getting an, a Ninja Gaiden vibe from this? Anyone? Is it just me? Okay. I'm getting total Ninja Gaiden vibes. Who goes there? It's M. Bison. Or, uh... What the... Yay! We did it! Cool! Let's move on. Wait. I don't get it. Is... The... That was supposed to happen, right? Anyone? Does any... Who's that next to me? What the? How did? How... Um. Does anyone know why that happened? Anyone? Does anyone know why that happened? I certainly don't. What the hell? I just. Is it because I never continued? I thought Akuma was gonna show up or something. Does. Does. Does anyone. Anybody? Anybody know what happens? Hello? I didn't get to show the boss fights! Guys? Does anyone know what happens? Oh dear. This isn't really a full game coverage if I don't show you how to fight the final boss. He's apparently weak against uh, Hadouken and Optic Blast. But I couldn't show you because he died. I don't. I, I don't understand. Oh yeah, this is Zhao Zhonghui. He's the programmer and the artist. He's the one who submitted this fan game to Capcom for them to finish. Luke Esquivel made the music. Ooh, Geo. Papa Petro. Papa! Papa Petro! Petro? Papa Petro? Yeah, and they get Capcom's USA support. So make sure you download this game from the Capcom Unity website. I know it's hard to find, but I'll leave a link in the description to get you at least on the first step to finding it. Yeah, Christian Stevenson? Christian Benson? He's from Capcom. Brett Elston? I don't know who he is. Oh well. So, uh, seriously though, anyone? Does anyone know why M. Bison spontaneously combusted? Anybody? Does anybody know? I would like to know because I didn't- I don't think that's supposed to happen. And if it is, cool, cool but, I mean, I- you, That- I wanted to fight him. That, I wanted to fight him. I wanted to show you the fight. I don't know what to say. I'm just going through the credits now because... I mean, they got funny looking sprites and stuff. I, I guess that's a girl. Um, the game was... The game was great! Uh, this is... This is... This is my first run through completely of the game. I've only gone through Ryu's and Chun-Li's stage maybe four times so I could practice the recording session. So this was great. I enjoyed it very much. It was spot on. I don't know anything about that M. Bison thing, but if it's on purpose, kudos. If it's a glitch, somebody's got to fix that thing. Uh, the game played really well. I enjoyed the... Like, it went around. It's it's It went around the boundaries. It created things like omnidirectional ladders, reflecting bullets. It had great it had great sprite art. The, all the uh, stages were original. Got some original enemies. I, I like how they in, in, did the bosses, didn't make them too broken, didn't make them too hard. It was pretty cool, I, I really liked it. It was, it's, it's amazing, and it, I'm glad that someone took the time to do that. Thank you for playing Mega Man X Street Fighter, or uh, Street Fighter X Mega Man, and happy 25th anniversary for both franchises. It was a great game, and I'm glad that someone went out of the way to do this. It took them years to do it, too. Oh, by the way. Uh, here's the opening. I couldn't record the opening because it starts on full screen.
So uh, there you go. That's that's it. I don't know why the M Bison fight didn't show up, but uh, I that's that's basically I don't I don't know I don't know what happened. So uh, that's it. I wish there was a continue feature or a password system, but hey, it's short enough. It only takes you like maybe an hour or thirty minutes to complete. It's it's pretty it's pretty fun. So go ahead, give yourself a try. I'll leave a link to the Capcom Unity site in the description. And uh, have a good day. This is Steamboy27, wishing you a brighter tomorrow. See you later, everyone.